Hey guys, Dior from Dior Video Productions here, and today I'll be showing a quick tip for users who edit on a Retina MacBook Pro. As you can see, currently when I'm at home, I like to edit with a secondary display. Why? Because the increased size in display is very important for me when I'm editing. But of course, you do not always have this secondary display with you or available. What if, say, you're on the go, at an airport, or waiting for a car, or whatever, and you have to edit on these built-in 13-inch display? This is doable, however, it can be made a lot easier with this tip. Alright guys, so here we have Final Cut Pro 10 running on the 13-inch Retina display here. And as you can see, it looks good, however, it is very crunched up and a little bit bunched together. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and select uh, Open Up System Preferences. We're going to select Displays. And from here, we'll click on Scaled. Now what this will do is it will allow us to actually change the resolution of the display. Now this is of course only possible on the Retina MacBook Pros. We're going to go ahead and scale it up to 1680 by 1050. As you can see, the display, what this basically does is it gives you more screen real estate to work with and will allow for applications to run in larger sizes while still being on the same 13-inch screen. As you can see, we can already see more of our project line. Let's go ahead and compare this to the uh, old resolution. Comparing the default resolution to what I prefer the editing resolution in, you can see you can see a lot more of your events and your project line. This will make editing easier on a small display like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll have some more videos linked right here.